They have now to your money right now. Been a bit of a wild ride over the week. The stock market is uh, retail giants report earnings. Target stock surged Wednesday, highest gain in four years. Walmart then suffered its biggest loss in more than a year the next day. Uh, Maria Bartiromo is with me now. Good morning to you, Maria B. I want to take you back two weeks ago. Here is the CEO of Target on CNBC, and this is what he said then. Watch. They're buying less stuff, even within food and beverage. So they're even tightening up their spending in those categories. So you're buying less apparel, less items for your home, fewer toys. They're buying fewer discretionary items. And they're not buying the goods that they were during the pandemic. Here's what we're, try here's what we're trying to figure out. We're trying to read the tea leaves here and understand how the consumer is feeling about their own personal situation, which will portend what happens over the holiday season. You've studied it for years. How do you see it as of today? Well, good morning, Bill. Good morning. That's exactly right. What we're seeing from the tea leaves is that people are buying less, buying fewer goods, and they're being forced to spend mo more money on health care. That took a big chunk out of this quarterly numbers for the retailers. Now, you mentioned Walmart. Walmart has something going for it. It's Walmart. A lot of people want to trade down to cheaper stuff. They don't want to be paying sky-high prices for things. So Walmart is actually taking market share from other people. Walmart was able to report revenue was up 5.25%. And, a quarter percent, and uh, same store sales were up 4.9%. It wasn't a great report. Obviously, the stock traded down because the guidance about what is coming next and next year was really what investors were focused on with the Walmart quarter. But you have to say, Walmart is doing well compared to others because it's taking market share for that very reason. We are all trying to trade down and get things for cheaper because when you look at retail sales, they were up overall 2.5%. But look at inflation. Even though it is way down from the highs of a year ago, inflation is still running at a clip of about 3.25%. So the mixed story was just that for the retail earnings this quarter, Bill. We saw some positive surprises in some. People did uh, see a decline in luxury spending. They're trading down to places like Walmart. And the expectations for the future are also quite worrisome because partly there's going to be a resumption of student loan payments. Don't forget, that's going to uh, take a chunk of uh, consumers' disposable and discretionary income or spending plans out of the mix because they have to pay those student loans. So there's that to worry about as well. Good news here, well, going into Thanksgiving, your Thanksgiving dinner is cheaper. It'll cost you about 4% less than last year. We'll take that. And the price of a turkey is down 16% from a year ago. All, but very much a mixed story, Bill. Yeah, uh, we're all turkeys next week. I was home in Ohio last weekend. A gas is decent. It's three and a quarter. It's not what it was when Trump was president, but it's still three and a quarter, which beats four yeah. and a quarter. Uh, our Fox polling this week. Put it up, guys. This any signs the economy is uh, taking the corner uh, and the worst is over? 67% say no. Uh, what's the condition of the economy? 78% say only fair or poor. That there is your consumer sentiment. So you don't need Walmart. Yeah. And you, you don't That's need right. Target. And you don't need the price of a gallon of gasoline. That shows yeah. you how folks are feeling. Last comment on that. Yeah. It's true, but we're still waiting for things to actually show the impact of 11 rate hikes. This morning, we got housing data. Actually, housing starts and housing permits were up, and a lot of people expected them to be down. So we still are looking at an economy that is growing, but growing slower and continuing to slow down going into next year. It has not been the significant impact of those higher rates that a lot of people expected. We're waiting for that. We'll see if things worsen substantially into the holiday season and into next year. But right now, it's sort of trending, you know, stable to lower. Uh, not as big of an impact as one would expect given 11 rate hikes from Good the Federal deal. Reserve. We'll see you over the weekend, all right? Thank you, Maria. You got Bartiromo it. with us today. Enjoy it. Thank you, Maria. I'm Steve Ducey. I'm Brian Kilmeade. And I'm Ainsley Earhart. And click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis.